Hey, great day everyone. Uh, today I'll be doing an extended uh, review of my this player JVC KDX220. It's a bit dark in here but it's okay. I have mounted this unit for approximately two weeks in my car. Got the JVC adapter to ISO harness because my car is running on an ISO harness wiring system. So I just plug it in. Basically, it's just plug and play. The installation is quick and easy. Easier than ever, I would say. The unit is short itself and uh, whatever that's provided in a box is quite useful, I would say. So basically, everything is used up. The extended review will be mostly about what I haven't been covering uh, inside the review that I had done before. So basically, the first thing that I will start with is with the buttons because I was using pre-out for the review so there isn't any uh, this uh, beep, beeping sound can be heard from the unit itself so basically the beeping provides a great feedback I would say uh, to the system the beeping is actually only playing through the speakers which actually makes sense because there's no point putting beeping sound through the pre-out probably wired to a woofer what's the woofer doing with the beeping sound so i guess that's what the engineer had thought about and uh, yeah it actually is works great um so basically i have wired my uh, speaker to the direct output of the unit so as you can see this is the beeping sound and uh, you can see here so basically, the selecting and the scrolling of the sound is actually different and the back is different. And once you're back to the main menu, it actually makes a different sound. So basically, during driving, even I can I can just go through a setting and fiddle around with it. And it actually is it's not that difficult to you know just navigate your way around because the feedback sound actually gives a very great, uh, I would say, great hierarchy, uh, which... Uh, basically makes the unit easier to operate than ever so I'm currently still in the USB mode so as you can see I can just go into the audio setting and play around with the bass boost and after that I'll just uh, feed I can fed, feed it around with everything that I like du even during my driving and I'll just listen to the uh, feedback beeping of the unit so I will highly recommend it uh, to leave it on because I, I actually really like this uh, myself because I am uh, even for the audio settings, I actually keep fiddling around, try, just trying to find a sweet spot for my uh, listening preference, I would say. Uh, other than that, the beeping sound is also available, of course, for your uh, for the this uh, music uh, searching. This actually helps a lot, I would say, because it is not that easy. I have, uh, I have just, I think, just let me see how many folders I have here. Actually, I have just uh, one, two, three, I would say just four main folders. But inside uh, some of the folders, I have quite a lot of, you, you can see here, quite a lot of uh, hierarchy. So I would say the beeping sound actually helps quite a lot. So I'll just go here. So actually, uh, once you navigate to a special folder, the shuffle function is actually turned off, I would say. But uh, not that hard. I can just always trick, uh, toggle it on with a press of a button just a uh, button 4 so I wouldn't say the random button is off I think I mean it's perfectly fine for me so basically the folder actually works uh, you can just uh, navigate and find your probably your songs that you like easily and just by listening to the beeping so actually it's not that hard to navigate uh, as I was saying in the video before, it's quite difficult to just want to navigate to the songs, to the folder that you like to listen. No, it's actually not that hard. It's not difficult at all with the beeping sound. The, I think it's just like some sort of guidance. It's actually uh, quite a, it's actually quite good, lah, I would say, uh, in a sense of it's easy to find the songs. Of course, uh, it still needs a bit of effort. Uh, to driving uh, to drive and uh, have a look on the title the one line the single line display over here but it is okay it actually helps a lot in driving and the second thing uh, that is i'm going to uh, extend on this video will be the uh, the android playback that's available in this unit it's actually not stated i would say not stated because the unit states that it plays iheart radio and pandora but it doesn't really say about you know Android uh, music playing. So now I'm going to show you the, uh, what's not being shown. 
uh, in the first review and I think it's not even shown in other other places in YouTube or even the manufacturer so this is what I have found out so I'll just unplug my USB stick so here is my uh, phone I'll just swing it through okay so here will be my phone and uh, this I had actually plug it out uh, to a, through a USB cable so I can now just plug my uh, USB cable in so the white guiding light is actually, uh, I would say, is actually okay in the sense of during night operation, it's not that difficult to operate. Lah. So it will prompt you to install a JVC uh, music play app, which uh, I had tried to use it. It's basically, it's actually buggy and I don't know, it doesn't work for me. But it's okay uh, because we are using the protocol through Android Open Music or Android Open Play or something. So basically, it doesn't require the app to play so I'll just cancel so I'll just go through go to my Spotify basically uh, this protocol actually allows what I found out is it actually allows all the sounds from the uh, from the Android phone to be streamed through the head unit itself as you can see here is currently in the audio mode so Android audio mode I'll say yeah it's actually Android audio mode you can just uh, let's see we just you see you can see it's Android auxiliary and FM there's no more USB here so basically it actually switches to automatic switches to Android audio mode so now I'll just uh, get some songs to be played uh, to the head unit so I'll just open my Spotify which uh, it will, is actually great convenient without plugging in the aux input and at the same time if you are playing your this uh, Spotify is actually charging your phone this is uh, something that is uh, I would say very convenient because you don't need to plug have two wires plugged into your phone at the same time uh, so as you can see here so it's actually playing uh, quite well uh, at here so uh, at the same time I can actually open my uh, GPS system let's say I would like to uh, using use the GPS at the same time navigation at the same time which I had been using uh, is actually quite great i'll say because it, uh let's see we just get some location to go as you can see here the the audio actually get dim i mean the music from the spotify actually get toned down to allow the gps voiceover to you know yeah uh, to make it louder so actually it's actually uh quite a i mean a good sense is being put in so I will say by having just one single wire uh, one charging wire or your USB cable uh, with, to stream the stream your audio and having your GPS system all your phone sound and music stream through the unit through just one cable I mean it's great convenience as compared to uh, using a 3.5 mm jack and headphone jack and uh, this uh, USB cable to charge your phone at the same time so basically it's actually uh it, it's a discovery for me so i'll just like to share it with you all that this unit actually supports them so as you can see here we can just uh, go through quite a lot of so let, we got, went to the next track uh, one thing that is better than ever as compared to using the aux cable would be the controls that's available uh, that will be available to you on this head unit as we can see here so we can just we can use all the controls that's available in the in the head unit and uh, yeah basically we can use all the controls on the head unit to get our songs to be played so we can press next to get to the next songs itself so this is this is very convenient so basically you no need to go through the your phone lock screen and get to the next song uh, which uh, helps in driving as well so I can even go back to the previous song and uh, the mute button is also working so basically by pressing the mute button as shown on the phone is actually uh, this uh, pause button so I will press the mute button again so basically it's the pause is doing a pause here so this is all the functions that's available I had tried the other uh, functions like shuffle and random doesn't work here so I just press the number 6 button which is 
uh, switching it to another USB mode. Basically, by plugging in a phone, the phone can be recognized as a mass storage device, which is uh, either by you can connect it as a USB drive, but then accessing your songs, uh, your internal songs uh, in your memory card or your phone internal memory, or you can use it as an audio mode, which I have been using here. Basically, streams all the sounds from your uh, Android phone to the head unit so this is what I have preferred because it's actually very convenient I can play with the controls uh, without having to go through the phone and besides I also can have my GPS voice over through the or to the to my uh, to be voice over over the songs which I would have very preferred so basically I think that's what I had discovered over the these two weeks of usage uh, that should be end of the my extended review, I will say. Uh, thank you everyone for your attention. Thanks. And uh, hopefully you can see you again.